so in the previous uh, uh, exercise uh, we used packer to automatically build an image and provision it from a template then you then we parameterize the template allowing you to build different images using the same template so while this is already quite powerful packer can create multiple images in parallel so all configured from a single template so parallel build is a very useful and important feature of a packer for example packer can build an amazon ami and a vmware virtual machine in parallel provisioned with the same scripts resulting in near identical images the ami can be used for production the vmware machine can be used for development or another example if you are using packer to build a software appliances then you can build the appliance for every supported platform all in parallel and configured from a single template so in this exercise you we will build a second docker image in parallel while the second image is a docker image for the sake of this uh, exercise so the second source could just uh, as easily come from another hypervisor or could or or could be a cloud platform so let's look into the exercise so we will get to this directory and open one more directory here it's exercise 5 and it's about uh, um, parallel builds and let me copy the file from this because that's the last la latest one and then place it here so open this file in vs code and close this get started and docker ubuntu so let me add one more source so once you have successfully initialized uh, uh, okay let's uh, open this and then before that we will initialize this once and then we'll go for the uh, git bash i'll say packer init dot brilliant no issue at all packer fmt dot okay then packer validate dot so fantastic no problem at all now let me use so let me add the new resource once as we have successfully initialized this template now i can continue with the rest of uh, uh, the exercise that adding a parallel builds to that template so to use parallel builds create a source so let me create a source and then add the source to the sources array in the build block okay your sources do not need to be the same type uh, so this tells packer to build multiple images when uh, the build is run let's take an example uh, when you want to run two images one is in aws and other one is in virtual machine the local virtual virtual machine through vmware so both can be possible and you can run from uh, you can create both the images from one one packer template that's the powerful of using parallel builds but here in this example we are going to create parallel docker images with one script we are going to create two images fantastic so let's add the resource let's add the source block to our file and we'll so where yes it is source and we should add exactly uh, below the source below the source block where is our source block here so we should not replace this source block we have to add below this so source and then again as usual docker label and then another label this time is ubuntu 
it's a, it's a di different Ubuntu. It's Ubuntu Bionic. And then image image is equals to Ubuntu Bionic. I'll go with the Bionic tag. Then commit equals to true. So then the image has been added. The res the another resource has been added. So now we have two parallel builds. Build one that's Docker Ubuntu. That's Ubuntu just Ubuntu image. And then build two is Ubuntu Bionic. So Ubuntu and then Ubuntu Bionic. But we have to add this the update. Then we have to update uh, our build block to use a new source. This is the source mentioned, but we have to mention this into our build block also. For that, I will come here and I'll type source dot source has been referenced, and in that Docker is one uh, label, and then Ubuntu Bionic is another label. Ubuntu Bionic done. Yes, so all set. Our file is ready. Now let me get into the and clear the screen and do packer init one more time. Fantastic, no issue. Then packer format one more time. Brilliant and packer validate. So absolutely no problem. So now let me run let me build the images let me build the parallel images let me run the parallel builds so packer build so so pack packer will display the color coded output for both builds so because we have two builds uh, for both builds it will so build build has been done so it has been built so if you look into this, you can easily tell with build source and output a line is associated with the, uh, using either the line color or prefix. So in this example, let's look into that. You have two lines. One is uh, learn packer dot docker dot ubuntu bionic is one and other one is learn packer dot docker dot ubuntu. So you can make out this at every C every you can find the two lines one is ubuntu dot ubuntu bionic other one is ubuntu so it's parallelly running the build has been run parallelly so both so one took nine seconds one zero three milliseconds other took nine seconds uh 242 milliseconds ubuntu bionic took nine seconds one zero three milliseconds and ubuntu took nine seconds 242 milliseconds so here at the end we got two artifacts docker one image this is one docker image that is ubuntu bionic and other docker image this is ubuntu so let me say docker ps sorry docker images you can see ubuntu bionic and then ubuntu genial so total we have two so we have created two so let's get into docker uh yes you can see that all so ubuntu ubuntu xenial and then ubuntu bionic we can clearly see that okay let me clear uh the all the uh uh images image one delete delete in spite of deleting from there i can delete it uh, through the docker also okay let me get back so it got open uh, from the docker desktop also i'm directly deleting from the docker desktop and then let me get back to this part and say docker images so no docker image let me run the build again and we'll see what's going to happen so packer build and see how much time it will take and how many images it will build as per our logic it should build two images so two images should be built 
both for one for Ubuntu, one for the Ubuntu Bionic. So similarly, the example that we have taken, so it is very, very useful and very, very powerful tool. The parallel build is very, very powerful tool. So it's almost come to an end. So Ubuntu Bionic, uh, it took uh, 23 seconds and 67 milliseconds. Okay, it has reached. So it has done uh, uh, Ubuntu. It's Ubuntu is here and Ubuntu Bionic is on top. Ubuntu Bionic took uh, 23 seconds and Ubuntu took 32 seconds. And here we have two build artifacts. So one is Ubuntu Bionic artifact, other one is Ubuntu. So now let me check Docker images. Here it is, you have two artifacts. Hence proved, so parallel build is too powerful. It helps us a lot in dealing with the things. So the best case, uh, use case for the parallel build is, so the best use case for the parallel build is to run no. So parallel build is very useful and important feature of Packer. So the best use case is Packer can build an Amazon EMI and a VMware virtual machine in parallel provision with the same scripts, resulting in a near identical images. The, the AMI can be used for production and then the VMware machine can be used for the development. It's the best use case for use case.